Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 990. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 989 to 993, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great V lookup video here. We need to look up the product name and return the ID. Now, there's two problems with uh, this situation. Some of the products don't have an ID. So VLOOKUP, when it looks up doublers, for example, and sees an empty cell, it's going to return a zero here. Not only that, but there's some products that are not in our list. The VLOOKUP will return an NA. What we really want instead of a zero is no ID. And what we really want instead of an NA error is not in list. So let's start with VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be the product name, comma, the table. I'm going to highlight that range and hit the F4 key to lock that, comma, the column index. Well, the product we're looking up is in column 1. The ID we want to retrieve and return to the cell is in column 2. So you have to tell VLOOKUP that it is in column 2, comma, true approximate or false exact match. We have text here. And although this column is sorted, we have items that are not in the list, which uh, will cause a problem with approximate match. So we need to use exact match. And I'm going to use a 0 instead of false. All right, Control Enter, double click and send it down. So we see we have our zeros and our NAs. We really want no ID and not in list. Well, let's deal with the 0 first. I'm going to highlight the VLOOKUP, because we're going to have to use that twice. I'm going to say if. And VLOOKUP is spitting out that 0. So I'm going to say, hey, VLOOKUP, are you equal to 0? That's the logical test part of if function, true or false, comma, the value if true. Well, if it is 0, I want in double quotes, no ID. So text in a formula requires those double quotes. That's the value of true. The value of false, well, I need to run that VLOOKUP again. Close parentheses. Control Enter. This will deal with the zeros. No ID, no ID, but not the NA. Now in 2007 and later, there's a great new function, if error. It simply takes the thing that's either delivering what we want or the NA. If it's an NA, it says, hey, what do you want me to show? And we want to show not in list. And double quote, close parentheses. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So that's beautiful. No ID, not in list, exactly what we want. Now, in 2003 or before, I'm going to copy this Oop, that little piece right there. Now, if error is great because it, it uh, allows us to have a much shorter formula and not run the VLOOKUP a bunch like we did in 2003 or earlier. So I'm going to say if, and the test here, we have two tests, right? Is it an NA? Is it 0? So if, and I'm going to say is NA. Now I'm going to Control V, and I'm going to cheat here. I didn't copy and paste this well. What I really need is inside the is and a, I need to look at that VLOOKUP. So I'm going to Control V and close parentheses. Hey, watch this. In a formula, you can use Alt Enter. And it, oh, I guess I didn't do anything. Yeah, it did. It jumped that down. Alt Enter. So here we see that I'm in the logical test argument. There's the is and a, so I need to put a close parenthesis right there. So all the is and a is, it's looking at that VLOOKUP in the logical test. It'll return a true if it is an NA, comma. I need to tell it the value if false, comma, not in list, end double quote. That's the value of true, comma. Otherwise, I'm just going to run that second if. So the value, if false, it runs the if VLOOKUP is equal to 0. Then show no ID. Otherwise, VLOOKUP, I come to the end, and I can close parentheses. Now that uh, Control Enter. That Alt Enter actually added a line return in 2007. And, and uh, later, you can pull this down. But notice that that line return is there. So if you're looking up in the formula bar, sometimes it's uh, uh, deceiving. I'm going to click up here and delete that uh, 
line return. I did it just so it was easier to see over here. All right, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. So there we get the same result 2003 or earlier. Now, if you have a data set and you're not allowed to alter the table, meaning for whatever reason you're required to keep that cell empty, this, these solutions will work. But what if we could alter the table? Whoops. You saw what we're going to do. We're going to put no ID. But imagine you had a whole huge table, and you don't want to type those individually. I'm simply going to highlight that second column, and I want to use the Go To Empty Cell feature. F5 opens Go To dialog box. I'm going to click on Special. And then No Way blanks. That'll allow us to immediately highlight all of the empty cells. Click OK. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the active cell is the light colored cell. Simply type no ID to populate all of the highlighted cells with the whatever it is that's in the active cell. Control Enter. Beautiful. Now, VLOOKUP. Whoops. Now, VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. I'm looking up that value, comma, within this table. It's not going to return those zeros anymore. F4. Comma two, comma zero. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. The only problem we have is our NA. Actually, with that range still highlighted in the active cell, I'm going to hit the F2 key. I'm going to use 2000 and Excel 2007 or later function if error. Absolutely awesome. Comma and then if it's an error, not in list. Control Enter. 2003 or before, we'd have to run the if and the VLOOKUP twice. So I'm going to say equals if is an A, Control V. If that's an NA, then that's the logical test, true or false, comma. Value of true, not in list. Otherwise, the value of false, Control V. So you we're running the VLOOKUP twice here, where here we just ran it once. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. All right, uh, if we can alter the table, much smaller formula to deal with the 0 and the NA. If we can't alter the table, then maybe something like that. All right, we'll see you next video.